Okay, Rabotai. Um, um, Joey, we're starting. Vico is starting. Please, we're learning about the humility. And he writes over here, Ochot Tzadikim. He says, We see six things to prove to see if you are humble or not. What would be the six things? Rishon, first thing is, How angry do you become? The more angry you are, that's not showing that you're so humble. You understand what I'm trying to say? Could you relate to that? Could you explain why? Meaning, he writes, He writes, a guy shambled him or made fun of him or, um, or did something terrible to him. And now, what's your reaction to that? He writes, you have to control yourself. You forgive him, Laman Hashem. Like, could be this guy doesn't deserve forgiveness. Could be this guy, he really did something horrible and disgusting and crazy. Could be really, really, he doesn't deserve a mechila. It doesn't make sense. However, you know that he's Hashem's child. And you know if you're not mochel, if you don't forgive him, Hashem says, listen, uh, 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 he deserves a punishment because he bothered you. But you say, Hashem, he's your child. I don't want him to get punished because of me. And therefore, I forgive him 100%. I have no strings attached. Everything, must be, I did Avera, that I got this to happen to me. I forgive it 100%. You understand the situation over here? You understand what's going on over here? He's telling you right now that how do I know the humility of a person? What's a siman? When he gets shambled or something was done to him, what's his reaction? If his reaction is going to blow up like crazy, that means that your humility level has to be more because what happened? When, why does a person get angry and blow up? He touched the ego. Do you understand what I'm saying over here? There's something called an ego. There's something called deep down every person has an ego. And that's that trigger when somebody ticks you off. And how do you react towards that? You know, a lot of times it's because you, sh- you, you said this to me. Do you know, deep down, do you know, the guy's thinking, do you know who I am? How do you even have the guts to say such a thing that to me? So now what happens is, is anger flares. That shows, you, it's a siman that you have to get off your high horse and stop being more humble. That's the truth. You know, when I learned this, I legit, I'm, I kid you not, I gained so much. Like this is a chot to the king, you need to have it. You need to have it. Mamash, you need to have it in your life. What happened? <clears throat> Yesterday, um, um, two days, actually a few days ago, I was taking a um, uh, taxi, whatever. So I told you this. The guy he tells me, oh, put on the mask. And I was very far from him and this and that. I was humble. I humbled myself. You know, so the whole mask thing, put on the mask. People get, it's the ego that's flaring up. You know, you go to a store and you always see those things. Put on the mask, you know. And, and now what happens, like, I'm not putting on a mask. You don't care to put on a mask. It's just the, the way the guy told you, you know, you don't want to put on a mask. But that's already egotistic. That means the ego is getting to you, you know. And then you put on the mask, and then the, and the, and then the lady of the, the owner of the store tells you, no, over the nose, please. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you, know like you want to flip. You know, okay. You tell, okay, okay, you put on the mask. You stop putting on the mask. You put on the thing. Oh, and, and like it's already nose. Over the nose. You want to flip out. But technically speaking, that's a, in, inside. It's the ego that's, that's talking. It's not you that's talking. It's the ego. That means the humility has to... What, what's the reason? So what? Big deal. So why can't you put it over the thing? Big deal. 
You know? The answer is because you told me to put it on my nose. I won't want to put it on my nose. Yeah, understand? No, no, no. <laughs> and, and there was another thing. Somebody was telling me that his wife ordered, the other day, his wife ordered, um, he told his wife, make sure you order me, uh, you order me, because his wife was ordering dinner, order me shawarma with hummus, tchina, and pickles. Because shawarma without hummus, tchina, and pickles, yeah, his name. That's the same. It's true story. It happened, it happened to somebody last night. He told me the story. Okay, his wife did it. And, um, <coughs> and his wife ordered herself, whatever, uh, hummus, uh, grilled chicken, uh, Israeli salad, pickles, tahini, and all nine yards. Okay, what happened? So last night the guy calls me up. So Rabbi, Rabbi, give me a chazak. I said, what happened? He says, he comes home. His wife has his sandwich. And he's having his sandwich. And he starts biting the sandwich. It's not juicy. It's just shawarma. There's nothing there. There's no chumus, tchine, pickles. There's nothing. It's just plain. And he said, you know, he, he controlled himself. You know, sometimes, honey, you didn't listen to me. I told you this, 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 this. And his ego could get in the way. And he controlled himself. I told him, I gave him bracha, I gave him everything. He says, really, it's a big chazak baruch. It's the truth. It's the truth, you know. That, that's a siman to see. One of the simanim to see, if you're humble or not, is when you get, how angry do you get when you get angry? You know, some people get angry. Some people get angry, 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 angry. You can never get, any, you can never get angry at all, by the way. al Dean, you're not allowed to get angry. Even inside, you can't get angry. You know, they had things in yeshivas that they made like, even inside, you don't get angry. You know what's going on? Like the guy ticked you off. You, now, there's one level of what? Of not bashing. And there's another level of even inside not getting ticked off. That's when you really... And there's a famous story with the Rambam. In the Rambam, he writes a story. How what was the happiest day of somebody's life? Famous Rambam, he writes a story about somebody else. How he wrote... I'm talking about maybe a few hundred years ago. How he wrote and had boats. You know, they, they, now you have the planes, you have the cars, you have this. They, they were, before the time, they only had a boat. And he writes how one time that <clears throat> there was another guy and he was urinating. And he urinated on the guy. He was on the second floor, urinated on the guy on the first floor. And, he, and the, the guy who was, you know, he got all urine on him. It says that he didn't, even inside, he didn't, he didn't get angry, he didn't bug out. He says, wow, look how humble, like the humility he got. He, that was the happiest day of his life. That he was able to control his anger and his humility not to go crazy. Man, it's a, it's a happy day of his life. <laughs> what do you mean happy? Because when you're full in control of yourself, you're a happy person. Really, really, you're a happy person. So you have all these, uh, a father, a mother, Crouchy, complaining, everything's an issue. Just relax already. And the kids in the house don't think they don't feel it, by the way. They feel it. They feel it and they feel it. You know, it's like, oh, daddy's so grouchy. And, and they might not say it, but forever they'll know my father was a grouchy guy. He'd come home, he'd complain about this, complain about that, scream at me about this, scream at me about that. So it's just annoying. You know what I'm saying? There's ways, of course, there's ways of doing things. But don't complain and don't get angry about every little stupid thing. Come on, grow up. Work on yourself to get to that level where like, okay, big deal. You see my glaze over here? You see it? It broke over here. You see it broke over here? Right. I just got these literally about a month ago. All right? And it took me two weeks to get it. I don't know why and this and that. They messed up on the order three times, whatever it is. And yesterday... Two days ago, actually, my younger daughter, she's a you know, one year old. She, I was holding her, she pulled it, she pulled my glasses, and it broke. She's like, I don't know how she did it, she broke it. So I still myself, like, you, you, you could go bug out, you could go crazy, you could this, you could that. I said, you know what? I said, Gamzula Tova. Hashem, this is so good. Whatever you do is good, Hashem. Now, 
I couldn't do anything to prevent it because right away you're holding the child and boom. So there's two ways of handling the situation. One way to handle the situation is like, oh, bug out on it. Oh, you know, and, and just tell you, scream at you. You know, not the kid. The kid doesn't understand, but you tell you, oh, I can't believe he told me to hold her and I held her and she did this and then come on, don't tell me to hold her. You can do that. Or be a man up about it and no, and, and just, I calmed down, I breathed a little bit. I was like, oh man, I just got it. You know, it's annoying. And I go, fix it. And I go, relax. Ah, as it is annoying with the whole glasses, you know. <laughs> so you know what? Comes with Tova. You know how good I felt? I felt like a champ. I felt like a million bucks. So I felt like a million bucks. You feel so good when you're in control of your life. In everything, if you're disciplined. This week, I took upon myself. You know, sugar is addicting. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you start with one this and then another item and another item and then everything is sugar, the candy and the ice cream and the ices. And the ices doesn't stop. You know, you have one and you have another and then you have a fruit roll up and the, the sugar doesn't stop. You have a, a guy's addicted to Coca-Cola, Sprite, he has all your soft drinks. Can't stop. It was getting out of control with me. I'm like eating and there's now all these different sugaring things. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. So this week, I think it was starting Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, now Friday, right? The whole week, I said, I'm, I'm going to control myself. And every day I have a coffee. I'm going to have two coffees. I'm not going to have a coffee. I'm not going to have a candy. And I felt so, or sugar, any sugar. No, no, no sugar. I didn't have any coffee. And then, so I'll wait for Shabbat to have a coffee, let's say, or to have a, uh, to have a sugar candy. I don't want to be addicted to these things. And I feel so good. It's the discipline. The discipline, you know what I'm talking about? When you discipline, you feel good. When you feel in control, you feel good. Nobody's going to get me upset. Nobody's going to get me angry. Nobody's going to get me worried. Even worry. Even people get worried. You know, a disciplined person doesn't get worried. He says, this is a situation, let me handle the situation. And inside, he feels good. Inside, he feels good. And this is what he's telling you over here. This is what he's telling you over here. He's telling you that one, first we're going to learn later on in more ways, <coughs> but one of the ways is that a person has to understand that if you're a human being that gets angry a lot, like very fast, you blow up fume and this and that and that, it's coming from the ego inside of you. That means you have to start lowering that ego. You have to be starting to be... Um, more humble. We'll continue with Zadashem.